Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. And today we're gonna to take a look at a new Nutsack bag I picked up. So this is a relatively newer bag from Nutsack. This is the Speed Sling. Uh, I have several Nutsack bags. I'm a big fan of uh, their bags. I like the styling of them. I like the craftsmanship of them. And best of all, I like their made here in the USA. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Now this one comes in at a price of $159. Kind of expensive for a sling bag, but like I said, I think you do get some premium materials and uh, they're really well made. So I've been super happy with the ones I have now and I believe I'll be just as happy with this one here. Uh, this one came in the mail for me about a week ago, but I've been traveling with work. I haven't had a chance to really check it out too much. So I thought I'd just do a kind of a quick overview of it in case anybody was looking into it and wanted some information on it. Um, so if you haven't seen a nutsack bag before, they are made out of a premium 18 ounce wax canvas which is water resistant, um, really heavy duty. This is the type of bag that will last you a lifetime if you take care of it. Um, you know, super thick. It does have some genuine leather accents on it. You do get that Acorn logo there. And then you get some zipper pulls. You get nice YKK zippers. And then the strap that it comes with is actually a nice heavy duty cotton strap. So I'm a big fan of these straps. They're soft. They're super, I think they're pretty thick for a strap. Just super heavy duty. Like I said, something that's built to last for a long time. Um, now on the back side of it, the straps are attached to it. So you cannot remove these straps, but that's fine. It's a small sling bag. I think having fixed straps is probably a pretty good idea for this one. You do get a little bit of channeling here on the back. I don't know. It may give you a little bit of a, you know, maybe a little bit of breathability on your back, you know, or your side if you have it on there. And these are also slightly padded too, so if you do have something pretty full on the inside, you do get some comfort out of this one here, which I do appreciate. Now I have the full size sling here uh, next to me. We'll do size comparisons here in just a second. Um, now this one comes in at 10 inches long, 6 inches tall, and about two and a half inches deep. Obviously, it's going to be kind of dependent on uh, you know how much stuff you have in it. I threw a few things in it just to kind of show you guys kind of maybe a quick idea of what I would use. For me, I want to get outside more this year, you know, when the weather gets a little bit better. Um, you know, I want to start hiking some trails, just quick day hikes or get back on the mountain bike. And I thought something like this would be good. I don't always need the full size sling. If I'm going out all day, you know, that's fine. But for something quick, the speed sling sounds good to me. Now on the front, you do get a nice big pocket here. It has a little flap here that kind of covers the zipper. Uh, since this material is water resistant, kind of just helps aid in keeping this pocket dry for you. Um, just a big pocket here in the front. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there, a cell phone. I just threw my wallet in there and I also threw in a set of AirPod Pros. Probably something I would throw in if I was going to go out on a hike or something. Uh, on the inside, you do get a nice big pocket here with dual zippers. So it's always nice when you have dual zippers. It does open up nice and wide. So I always appreciate the ones that open up pretty wide. You get two big pockets here on the front. Um, you know, kind of their traditional pockets. If you've had one of the other bags from them before, you'll kind of recognize these. If you haven't, they're full, they go all the way down to the bottom, nice and deep, super heavy duty material inside, real nice and thick. Uh, I threw in a Olight Baton 4. This would be a good one for me just because it is a good light. In this case, can actually recharge stuff as a portable battery bank. So that would be something I'd like to carry on a hike. I threw in a brand new Log & Jotter notebook. It's always nice to have a little notebook when you're out. Um, first aid kit. Obviously, first aid kits are handy to have when you're out walking some trails or out by yourself on a bike. It's always nice to have a little kit. And then on this side, you get two rows of Molly. So I really like how Nutsack sets up their, you know, their bags. The Molly gives you enough versatility where you can kind of set it up however you want. Um, you know, I just threw a few items in here randomly just to kind of show you guys. But I attached a pin to it, spider coat knife, one of the little Olight O-gobbers. You know, this is a great little safety light. You could just clip it right on the strap also. You know, if you're out on a bike, you could have it on the safety mode or the flashing mode so people can see you, especially if it's a little bit dark out early in the morning or a little bit later in the evening. I threw in a little pry bar, charging cable to use with the battery bank, and some uh, just some chapstick. So depending on the time of year, I'd probably throw some bug spray or some sunscreen, something like that to kind of use. While I'm out and about, but the bag's small enough for I'm not gonna have to worry about packing a lot of extra weight in it. You know, you can't fit a ton in it because it's a little bit smaller. Um, also, 
this may be a good one as a travel companion. I'm kind of thinking about using it as like a kind of like a second carry on. So having a carry on bag and then wearing this, you know, I could fit the stuff I need to access fairly quick, like my wallets or a passport, uh, cell phone, you know, little things like that you could throw in here, wear it around the airport, carry all your stuff in it. Pretty good idea. So let's go ahead and take a look at it compared to the regular size sling bag, just in case you're familiar with that one, or if you have a full size sling bag, this is the full size sling and this is the speed sling, obviously. So they are a little bit different in size. Um, I do have a few things in this one, but not a ton. Like I said, I've been a big fan of this one here. It's been super durable. It almost looks brand new. Um, you know, a little bit of stuff's a little bit more worn, but it's starting to break in a little bit, get a little more soft and pliable. You know, the new, the new one's a little bit stiffer. So over time, they do kind of break in a little bit. And uh, like I said, this is one that I'll take if I go, I'm going to go out for the whole day and I want to bring some cooking stuff or things like that. Great bag. Very similar design. It does have kind of the same kind of pattern here on the back of it. Um, but it does have a detachable strap. I took it off just to make it a little easier to film it. Um, yeah, great bag from them. Now, this one, I think it's going to be a good one for me. Do I think it's worth $159? For me personally, I do. Uh, I'm a big fan of stuff that's made in America if I can get it. The wax canvas is sourced right here out of America. So was the leather. Um, and plus this company came from a little town here in Oregon. And uh, I live here in Oregon, so I always like to support, you know, home state stuff if I can. I found these guys randomly watching a YouTube video about a couple years ago, a year ago. And, uh, you know, I bought something from them before I started making YouTube videos. Really, really liked it. And throughout time, I've just kind of purchased more and more from them. Now, I do have an affiliate link below uh, that is linked in there. I did pay full price for this. I pay full price for all the stuff I get from them. Uh, I do make a small commission off that. Um... You know, if you do use the link, but I just use it to buy more nutsack bags. So that's kind of how it works for me. But yeah, that's just kind of a quick overview of this new speed sling. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. I'd be more than happy to try to answer them for you guys. Um, you know, thanks a lot for checking it out. And I hope you all have a great day.